while I'm heading for a work trip without Abby. <laughs> I have to go to work. She has to go to work. <laughs> too bad, I guess, uh, for the COVID testing. It tickled more than anything, I think, and kind of made like your eyes kind of water a little, but um, I really expected it to be a little more. So. Okay, so got a negative COVID test. So now uh, I'm off to go check into my flight and then go through security. Not too bad, I guess. Just have to get here. I think it took about 30 minutes to get my results, which is pretty cool pretty quick, so just get here a little early. Well, Tulsa is normally pretty empty, but this is a ghost town right now. Actually, which is really nice they have a uh, testing facility there at the airport and so currently the UK is requiring a PCR test and so I was able to get a rapid PCR test and I just showed up to the airport about an hour ahead of time um, it literally took like 40 minutes for the test and the results um, so I had to provide that uh, the UK is has something called like a UKater locator form um, and basically you're just filling out information about where you're staying, how long you're in the UK, have you been anywhere or been exposed, that sort of thing. And in order to get on the Atlanta to London flight, I had to provide information of my negative COVID test and the UK locator. Um, and then I think that was about it. But then once you, once I got here and I got to the hotel, so the company I work for um, somehow uh, got it worked out that we are uh, essential workers. I do uh, computer programming for a company that trains military and commercial pilots. And so they got some letters from both our corporate in the States and corporate here in UK. And um, we provided those to the hotel because the UK requires a 10 day quarantine um, unless you're an essential worker. So I, uh, the, the hotel really didn't buy it, um, but they called, uh, the person that signed the UK corporate letter. And I have no idea what they said, but no quarantine. So yeah, so I'm here for 16 days. And so far I've gotten, I've been able to get out and uh, picked up fish and chips. Um, mostly ordered room service here. Uh, got some chicken tikka masala. Um, everything's been pretty good. Um, the weather right now, seeing it since it's February, the weather's rainy and cold and it's supposed to snow a lot this next week. So I don't really have any travel fun stuff while I'm here. Um, there's nothing to get out and do. The only thing open is uh, restaurants for takeout and grocery stores. Um, so I'm just going to be going to work and getting food. Uh, but. But um, I will have to get another COVID test to get back into the U.S. And 
so if there's anything that goes on with that, I'll talk about that later. So I have been to the grocery store and uh, while I've been here, Abby actually watched a video from another YouTuber, Suitcase Monkey, and he talks about the, uh, I guess, stuff at the grocery store to eat, uh, to, tr to try while you're here. And so uh, she wanted me to bring some of that home. So I got her some prawn, prawn cocktail chips. Um, Jaffa cakes, something like that. And then a couple of this brand, Mr. Kipling Viennese Whirls, which uh, I have eaten one of those and those are pretty good. And then the, um, the Bakewell, uh, Cherry Bakewells. So the, some of that stuff I'll bring back and then um, I did see while I was there some like chicken chips and I immediately thought of our trip to New Zealand. So maybe I'll bring some of those home too. So I got my COVID test to go home and it was a lot more involved than the one uh, in Tulsa to get here. The one in Tulsa had a uh, stick about this long, went in each nostril, that was it. This one, um, was a lot bigger. It was like twice the length and they did three different spots in the back of your throat and then your both nostrils. Um, so it was a lot, it was a lot more involved and, um, just it, not that it hurt, but it, I mean, it was uncomfortable. Um, but I got my results today. Everything's negative. So I get to go home in not tomorrow, but the day after. So I've got one more day here. Well, I made it back last night. And um, so just to summarize, we had to get a COVID test in the UK and they only really looked at it when we were boarding the flight. And then when we went through customs in the US, they didn't, they didn't even look at it. They just looked at my passport. Um, and then honestly, it's kind of weird flying right now. We had maybe 20 people on the entire flight from London to Atlanta. Um, so it's just, it's just kind of an awkward state right now. Um, but otherwise it's pretty nice. Uh, you get to lay out and have all the room you want. Um, so yeah, so I got back to Tulsa and we landed in some of the worst weather that like the worst winter weather that Tulsa has had in a while. Um, there's probably a good 10, 10 inches or so of snow, which is not typical of Oklahoma. So that was pretty much my UK uh, experience during lockdown. And next time I hope to travel with Abby and we'll see you in those videos. Thanks again.